So I guess it, from the posterior region, from a surface anatomy perspective, um, there's not a lot um, to the posterior thigh, or, or just from an anatomy perspective, it's just a group of large muscles. Mm -hmm. um, so we have um, on the lateral side of the posterior thigh would be the biceps, and the medial side would be the semitendinosus, semimembranosus. Those are going to be probably easiest to distinguish um, down towards the knee region. Um, and why don't we just um, reposition the camera more this way? I don't know, can you see the knee okay from yep. where you're at? Okay. So if you're down in the popliteal region, um, this is going to be the easiest place to feel the tendons of the semitendinosus and semimembranosus on the medial side. And then on the lateral side, you can feel the tendon of the biceps. If you work your way up, they sort of give way to the muscle part. And then that's where it gets a little bit harder, at least for me as a um, non-practitioner, to, uh, to feel the difference between the individual muscle bellies. Um, do, is that something that you feel like you can discern like within the muscle mass itself, like where one muscle ends and another begins? Um, sometimes I can. It depends uh, to a large extent how much muscles are developed. Sure. Um, they're really easy to feel the difference in my 90 year old mother, yeah. you know, and not so easy to feel the difference in a young athlete. Sure. Um, sure. So, uh, but what you can do is down in this tendinous region that you were just talking about, uh, whether it's semi-tendinosis, semi-membranosis, and uh, where the the gastrocnemius comes mm -hmm. up and there's a little bursa apparently right yep. there that uh, can get real sore or up here in the ischial tuberosity uh, whether they're feeling pain in either one of those places you're going to find hard muscle tissue uh, and and you're going to be able to tell the difference because some of it will be soft so mm -hmm. matt in particular has a tight place right in here is that kind of tender for you when i poke on it matt yes it is okay and but it's not tender over here no okay so so you see i can though i may not be able to tell the difference in the you know uh, semi-membranosis and semi-tendinosis up here, sure. I can tell the difference between uh, a muscle that's tight and a muscle that's right. fine. Which is probably <laughs> the most important thing. That is the yeah. most important thing to <laughs> yeah. me, yes. So the way to look for tenderness and tissue on the inside of this leg here is to just Kind of make some slack with your top hand and then push in with your with your lower hand or your medial hand and take a breath right into that for me now and then just think of letting go of your leg bones letting go of your foot bones and you can just kind of pulse into that let's have another breath into it good and then just think of softening and opening that's good. So that feels like it's gone. Is it gone? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So that's what we do. You know, we find hard places and soften them up and make them quit hurting. <laughs>but it is important to know the origins and insertions like for the longest time I knew that all of the hamstrings attach up here at the ischial tuberosity mm -hmm. um, but I did not know that adductor magnus also attaches up there at the ischial tuberosity yep. so when people had uh, pain up here at their ischial tuberosity I always went for 
the hamstring group mm -hmm. um, and I would sift through that muscle sometimes really well and really hard <laughs> for a really long time and um, and not be able to resolve the issue um, whereas now that I have looked more carefully at the situation <laughs> and I know that adductor magnus also attaches up there um, and it actually more often is the culprit with sure. the ischial tuberosity. Well, since we're in the area, um, should we talk about the IT band? Um, yes. This is something that is pretty easily palpable from this perspective, right? It is, yes. So we'd, we'd be looking kind of in the lateral aspect of the leg in terms of where we're trying to find this. Um, if you can find your biceps tendon again, and then kind of roll over a little bit more lateral or a little bit more anterior, um, there's another tight band that's just anterior to that, and that's about the difference that we're looking at between the biceps tendon and the IT band. And again, since Matt has really muscular legs, it's really easy to feel this distinction, but there's almost like there's a trough right here um, where the hamstring ends and the IT band begins. Um, a lot of people do have pain in their IT band or they have had it poked on mm -hmm. by physical therapists, uh, perhaps massage therapists. That's just my belly there, Matt. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, and so physical therapists that I, at least according to my clients who also go to physical therapy, they are often looking for tender points or sometimes they call them trigger points. A trigger point is just a tender point that refers pain to another area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it's easy to get confused between a tender point and a yeah. trigger point. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, it is typical and traditional to treat uh, pain along this iliotibial band um, uh, in part to relieve knee pain sometimes. Mm -hmm. People will treat that. I have found much better relief uh, from dealing with tensor fascia lata. So at the top of the femur here, just drop to the inside into that meaty area with kind of a loose fist. Mm -hmm. And you're right below the iliac crest there, right? I am. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just between the iliac crest and the femur, okay. right in this meaty area here. And then, I don't know if you can aim the camera oh, sure. at my legs um, and feet because this is a stance that is really important mm -hmm. for people who are going to be doing this kind of body work to take. It's um, a wider stance than you'd think. It is a much wider stance than <laughs> you would think. Um, but you see, I get to keep my back completely straight and I have my whole body moving mm -hmm. to provide this kind of pressure, and how does that feel to you, Matt? Very good. Does it feel good? Yes. Excellent. And that, actually, if there's tenderness up here in the tensor fascia lata, um, then you treat that instead of the tenderness in here, and the tenderness in the iliotibial band goes away. Mm -hmm.